I'm Ed Stafford. I'm Bear Grylls. My husband, Mike. Meet my wife, Ruth. And I'm going to show you what it takes to get out alive. I've set myself a new challenge. And all we have with us is our clothes, some camera gear, and our knives. But from up here, it's a huge expanse of forest and jagged peaks as far as the eye can see. It's remote and it's wild. I'm smiling. <laughs> I'd forgotten how punishing jungles can be. And with humidity as high as 97%, I'm sweating massively. Facing a week of challenges to show you how to make it out alive from one of the world's toughest rainforests. Check this out. First things you want to do in the jungle is strip down all your extra clothing. The reason we do this is this gets wet, stays next to your skin, your skin falls off, you get jungle rot. I'm gonna take my underwear off. <laughs> Oh, that much, it's gotta be done, hasn't it? You can also use all these things for extra survival need. And what I can do with these is use my trousers. Fish really are one of the jungle godsends. Uh -huh. Maybe food sources, anything that I can find really. Best way to orientate myself is to get to a high point. So I head uphill. This is a technique I learned from a friend in the special forces. And hopefully the fish are going to be inquisitive enough. Really incredible stuff. Jungle standards, honey, is a baby. Holy smokes. Ho, ho, ho. What do we got right here? Looks like dinner. A nice turtle. No, 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 no. I'm trying to get away now. This is my favorite animal in the whole world. I've owned turtles since I was 10 years old. Do we have to eat this? I don't want to eat it. I'm sorry, but this is a really good meal for us. And this is the only food we found so far, OK? Little good tip. Very useful survival tool. It's my favorite animal. I'm going hunting and trying to find something to eat other than your little turtle. Looks like an area where I can get a view. Wow. That view makes it all worthwhile. There is no point in looking for a bubbling little brook anymore. It's making this job of fishing a bit of a losing battle, to be honest. But at the moment, it just feels like Feels like a bit of a struggle. Hey, come on over here. I think I got us something else to eat. What type of snake is it? And that is a big boa constrictor. Oh, he's strong. Oh, he's trying to get me. Sorry, right, buddy, but you got to get his head off. I'll kill it. I'm not having it bite you. All right, there you go. Get your hand out. Ah, no way, that's too strong. No. That's OK. You you severed spinal cord. He's dead. All right. It the rest might is nerve. Bite you. He will still bite. Uh, it's gonna be good dinner. For man, my heart is thumping. <laughs> He's dead. You did it. You killed him. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. I can't speak. This is a guava tree, and there's quite a few on the ground. Life seems instantly better finally named this turtle because we're not going to eat it. I'm going to call it Houdini. OK, time to go. It really rubs me raw to do this. I just want you to know. It's worth it. The turtle is going free. There you go. <laughs> What's that near the bank? I got a tortoise. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is dead. And it's finally working. Let's get this snake cooked up. I'm going to roast the boa meat skewered on green sticks so they don't burn. Smells really, really good. Tastes so good. It's proper meat. Huh. I once heard a story about a guy who fell asleep in his jungle shelter. He 
and he had his arm hanging down from the bed platform. And he woke up in the morning with a really numb arm and looked down and a boa constrictor during the night actually swallowed all of his arm all the way up to the shoulder. I'm really scared still. Is that normal, do you think? I mean, it's the Amazon. It's very, very scary out there, baby. I mean, there's serious stuff out there that will seriously eat us. This morning's job is to um is to search for water. You can see all of that really lush vegetation around there. And that's a good indicator of water. And these are hollow. If I can find somewhere to dig for water, I can use these as a straw to suck it out. Well, it tastes clean. You've always got to grab every opportunity you can to get food and use whatever you can to catch it. See this? See that little track there? Probably a skunk. Skunks are good for trapping and good for eating. I can hear a chicken. There's two of them. Go on, then. Go on. Look, there's a chicken. See the chicken? It's a rooster. If I want to catch one, I need to find a natural bottleneck nearby where I can set a trap. I'm going to cut it off. No, this would be quite nice here. That's my rabbit. I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy with that. Walks across this. Triggers it. It's going to get pulled up. Suspended ready for dinner. Hey. I'm more than 200 yards from the trap, but I can already smell the overpowering stench of a skunk. Oh, my God! There's a skunk in there. There's a skunk in there. Watch out for your eyes, don't get any closer now. It's truly. Ah. Oh my goodness, it just squirted out stuff at me. <laughs> the stench is so bad I can barely breathe. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, it's caught. What are you doing walking around with it wrapped up in a blanket like a baby? I haven't, I haven't given it a name, but I feel that it's, it, it trusts me now. It, it trusts you? God dang it, woman, what is... I'm that man. He's ready for the barbecue. Pretty cool. OK, little man, we thank you for your food. We're very sorry. It's such a feast. I'm so excited. See how this is looking. <clears throat> that tastes really good. Who would have thought a skunk could taste so good? Cool, blimey. It's like somebody's got your steak, rubbed it in dog feces, and then popped it in your mouth. Baby, this is fantastic. You got the legs, didn't you? You took both legs. Here, it's impressed. Yeah. The thing that I like best here is at home you never use silverware. And here you've picked up a fork. <laughs> it is all over. Time to go back and rejoin the human race. No matter where it happens, survival is always hard. The ultimate force of nature, it can make you feel so small. This place really has allowed me to thrive beyond ev everywhere else, I think. I have, I'm completely comfortable sleeping next to someone that I don't know. I've done it before. And now it's a party. One man and one woman. Ah. Alone for 21 days, they have no clothes, no food, no water. Ah. I'm just so hungry and tired. 